A St. Louis County judge is expected to rule today on gender-affirming care restrictions for Missouri's transgender children and adults. Star of Two's Chris Renier breaks down this controversial case live from Clayton. Chris? Blair, good morning to you. John, good morning to you as well. We are just outside the St. Louis County Courthouse here where this case is before Judge Ellen Roboto. She is the judge we are expecting a ruling from today. Missouri's Attorney General Andrew Bailey is pushing these new restrictions, but several plaintiffs have filed a lawsuit looking to stop these rules from being enforced. Attorney General Bailey says his emergency order is a way to shield minors from what he describes as experimental medical treatments, although puberty blockers and sex hormones have been prescribed for years. The lawsuit against the order claims that Bailey went around the GOP-led legislature in Jefferson City and acted beyond his authority in trying to regulate gender-affirming care using Missouri's consumer protection laws. That suit was filed by transgender Missourians and health care providers. The order was originally supposed to go into effect last Thursday, but Judge Roboto stayed the implementation of it last Wednesday until today at 5 p.m. Roboto saying last week that she wanted more time to rule on the plaintiff's motion for a temporary restraining order blocking the rules from going forward. At least 13 states have enacted bans on gender-affirming care for minors, but the effort here in Missouri represents the first time that a state has tried to impose such restrictions on transgender adults as well as kids. That makes this potential Missouri rule a first of its kind in the country. We are expecting a ruling from Roboto on this case sometime before 5 p.m. today. For now, live in Clayton, I'm Chris Fournier.